hydrophobic sand. In the following experiment, we will show how by interfering in the structure of materials at microcosmic level using nanotechnology, we can change the properties these materials develop at macrocosmic level. In order to perform this experiment, we will use hydrophobic sand. We will need a small quantity of regular sand. a small quantity of hydrophobic sand water strainer two glasses ink pad sheets We fill the two glasses with water. Then pour regular sand into one glass. And hydrophobic sand into the other. We take care so that the quantities of both kinds of sands are almost the same. We shake the two glasses slightly. We observe that the regular sand is dissolved in water while the hydrophobic sand is not. We take out the water from the glass that contains the hydrophobic sand using the strainer. And then we place the sand on an ink pad sheet. We then cover the sand using another ink pad sheet and we press on it for a few seconds. We lift the second ink pad sheet. We observe it's dry. We draw the conclusion that the sample of hydrophobic sand doesn't contain any water. We do the same using the glass that contains the regular sand. This time we observe that the ink pad sheet is wet. So we come to the conclusion that the sample of regular sand contains water. Water molecules are highly polarized. In other words, the positive and negative charges the molecules contain are not uniformly distributed. On the contrary, up to a certain degree, they concentrate at the molecule's edges. As a result, the water molecules attract not only each other, forming hydrogen bonds, but also other polarized molecules, such as the molecules of regular sand. In the case of hydrophobic sand, nanotechnology helps us interfere in its structure at a scale of almost one billionth of a meter, and coat the sand's grains with a silicon mixture. This mixture cancels the interaction with the polarized water molecules. This way, the sand is not dissolved in water. 
and from hydrophilic becomes hydrophobic.